Hello. Get ready for another hidden theory that Reacher's season 2 finale made an already existing plot armor problem ridiculous. Langston had a clear opportunity to kill Reacher and Dixon but did not take it. Let me explain everything that you need to know. Here is a summary of the content. Reacher's season 2 finale exacerbates the story armor issue by making its major protagonists appear resistant to pain and harm. The show lost an opportunity to elevate the tension and demonstrate the character's fragility in the face of danger. Adapting Lee Child's tripwire in Season 3 could solve the story armor problem by revealing that Reacher is human and not indestructible. With all due respect to that familiarity, this is bullshit. Reacher Season 2's four major protagonists, Reacher, Neagley, Dixon, and O'Donnell, appeared comically invincible throughout the series. Despite being outnumbered, they easily defeated an entire biker gang and even emerged unhurt when Langston paid expert snipers to clear the way. The Reacher Season 2 finale provided an excellent opportunity to heighten the stakes of its action and drama by demonstrating how vulnerable its key protagonists can be. Unfortunately, Reacher exacerbated the plot armor issue by depicting how, after being shot and stabbed many times, characters like Dixon and O'Donnell could continue to function as if immune to pain and harm. From my IDs, then these assholes make more money selling this shit than all our pensions combined. Reacher, too, appeared way too superhuman in the season 2 finale, holding Dixon's gurney with one hand despite having a knife pierce his forearm. The show's storyline armor was highlighted when, despite having the opportunity to shove Reacher and Dixon off the helicopter, Langston and his right hand man engaged in a lengthy, pointless monologue instead of eliminating their threat. Reacher's season 2 finale took the show's plot armor problem to new heights. The end of Amazon's Reacher season 2 took the show to new heights, rather than just addressing plot armor concerns. Reacher season 2's plot armor flaws should have been fixed at the conclusion, but instead they were exacerbated. Based on Lee Child's bad luck and trouble Reacher season 2 offers an engrossing beginning arc that alternates between the main character's timelines to illustrate how his connection with his old team members from the 110th Special Investigations Unit has grown over time. Although Dixon, Neagley, and O'Donnell's interactions with Reacher appear to be very different from those he had with Roscoe and Finlay, they proved to be adequate replacements for the Season 1 characters. However, despite the fact that Season 2's personal beats are interesting and motivated by a high-stakes goal, the character's journey as a team is rarely captivating due to how easy it is for them to defeat their opponents throughout the season. <laughs> Although several initial narrative threads in Reacher Season 2 indicate that it will kill off one of the key characters and address the storyline armor issue, the program never fully commits to the narrative direction it establishes in the episodes preceding its finale. This, in turn, raises the storyline armor concerns to new heights. The 110th Special Investigations Unit member. Here is the status of the agents that left and the ones that are alive in Season 2. Jack Reacher, alive. Francis Neagley is alive. Carla Dixon, alive. David O'Donnell is alive. Tony Swan is dead. Calvin France, dead. Stan Lowry is dead. Jorge Sanchez is dead. Manuel Orozco is dead. Adapting this Lee Child book for season 3 can fix Reacher's plot armor issue. Amazon's Reacher stars Alan Richson as Jack Reacher. Season 2 failed to address plot armor issues, however, season 3 can avoid this by adopting Lee Child's tripwire. Unlike other Jack Reacher novels, in which the eponymous character appears practically indestructible, Tripwire depicts Reacher becoming vulnerable for the first time after suffering a horrific injury that almost kills him. By adapting Tripwire, Amazon's Reacher Season 3 might finally prove that, while Reacher is a tough figure who is difficult to defeat, he is ultimately human. This, in turn, would balance Reacher's exaggerated action with realism, making the character more approachable. Thank you for watching.